I'm about to show you one of the coolest things I bought for this shop and it's not even a tool. Typically when I'm working in the shop, I'm wearing headphones. Not anymore, because this thing is awesome. This is a Festool Top Rock, and what is that? That is a job site, kind of, radio, and we'll get more into that later. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. I love this thing. I usually wear Wireless Beats Pro headphones that I work out in. I love the way they'll sound. This sounds even better, and it gets super loud. So even over tools and things like that, you'll be able to hear the radio. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link in the description below. You can go check one out for yourself. Sound quality, in my opinion, is priority. So we're gonna listen to that first. I'm gonna give you a few different style songs to listen to, and then we're gonna get into what all this thing has to offer, because again, you can't judge it by what it looks, because it has some special features. Now I know what you're thinking, Festool, blah, 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 he's drinking the Kool-Aid. I've got both hands on the jug, you hear me? But this is not even that, because this thing sounds amazing. I've heard many different style of Bluetooth speakers, and I've never liked them. I always thought they sounded like crap. It sounds so amazing it, when you lift the lid, you can almost hear angels sing. Hear it? Rock music sounds really good on there. I'm a big, I love rock and roll. I, I listen to Metallica and some Nirvana and all the 90s rock people, Pearl Jam. I love that genre of music, so I listen to that quite a bit, and it just sounds so good on this. If you like hip hop or bass heavy music, this thing sounds extremely good. I'm fairly confident that it's really hard to pick up the actual sound quality on this microphone of mine, but in person it has really deep bass. And the reason for that, there's actually four speakers in the top of this, and then there's two bass reflex ports on each side that give it that nice deep sound. You can turn this thing up also to project that sound out a little more if you wanted to. This is hip hop. That's good. Ah. I'm telling you, man, let me show you some blues before we get on the rest of it. And finally, I listen to this a little bit of country because I like my country. One thing I really appreciate about the Top Rock is the sound. Even at higher levels, it doesn't distort and sound crappy like a lot of the Bluetooth speakers I've heard does. I'm about almost 20 feet away from it. It's, the sound is so full and rich, even from this far away. Man, this thing sounds so good. You'll even like listening to John Denver on this thing. All right, so you're supposed to be able to get like 165 feet away from this thing. We're going to try it. I'm gonna set it right here on the ground. The mic is on me, so that's where the audio will be picking up, and I'm gonna walk that way. You ready? Oh, went out right there. Epic slow mo. Now, if you have neighbors, uh, they're gonna hear your music if you turn it up very loud because it does get extremely loud. Now you can keep it lower and it still sounds really good and really clear. If you like spoken audio, like audiobooks or podcasts, sounds excellent too. First of all, I love that it's so simple to use. It's basic. There's no fancy features or buttons to push. You power it on by pushing and holding that button. And if it, you need to connect it to your Bluetooth or your phone, you just push and hold that button and it'll it'll pair. It automatically pair because I've already got it paired. It has volume buttons, but you can also use it to adjust the volume on your phone. You can see the lights are blinking as I use the volume. So uh, you, you can use this from across the room or very, very far away actually. The Festool Top Rock features Bluetooth 5 with true wireless stereo. So if you have two of these, you'll actually get wireless stereo. The way they got all these internals, the, all the electronics and everything is inside the lid of a storage box, AKA a sustainer. They say tunes up top, tools below. It's kind of like a, a Bluetooth radio mullet. This thing is rechargeable. It comes with its own power cable, so you can leave it charged up, uh, plugged up if you want, but it'll also uh, have a battery, which is also included up there. That'll last up to 10 hours on medium volume. Also notice that because of all those electronics are in there, if you let go of the lid, it's a soft closed lid, so it's not gonna damage anything. It has two different handles, one on top, 
One up front, briefcase style. It also has a USB plug that you can charge your phone with, tablet, things like that. One thing to note inside the lid, it will tell you how to pair everything in case you lose your instruction manual. So the instructions are always gonna be on the lid or if you're pairing two of these. Since this is a sustainer, it acts just like all the other ones. It will mount on top of these others. It'll lock into place and now you've got both of these you can take with you if you needed to going to the job site. I do like that it has top rock there. That way you know when you just at a glance which one is your radio. I think where a lot of people's gonna miss out on this is it's not just for the shop or the job site. I'm a dad to three kids who were into baseball and cheerleading and dance. So we went all over the place. With those activities, there's a lot of downtime between games or practices, competitions, things like that. This is something you can take along with you, throw the snacks in there. You can take this thing camping to the beach while you're relaxing on the deck or the patio. It's just a multi-use thing, it sounds so good. Of course, this thing is not all capexes and dominoes. There are some faults and drawbacks to it. Primarily, this is what I consider to be a job site radio because it's in a job site box. So it should be able to do job site duties or at least withstand job site atmospheres, right? One of the failings I think Festool made on this product is not having it to be weather sealed or at least weather resistant at a minimum. This thing is not water resistant and it's not dust proof. So it may or may not be affected by those conditions. So keep that in mind if you wanna purchase one of these. The other complaint I have on this thing is it's top heavy. To open it up, and if I'm not holding it down here, it falls over backwards, which kind of negates the soft closed lid, right? Come on, Festo, y'all supposed to think of everything. That ain't right. All right, we'll talk about the big old elephant in the room, the price, because Festo costs a lot of money, right? Not really so in this case. Now this is $225 at the time of this video. And while that may seem excessive for a Bluetooth radio, I paid 200 and something dollars for my AirPod Beats Pro or whatever they are. I paid $200 for my AirPods Pro and Milwaukee, and I believe DeWalt also have one that are at this price point or more. Sounds good. Remember the 80s? If you like this video and you want to check out some more awesome festival stuff, click that box right there to go check out my dust extractor review. It's a really good dust extractor. Click that box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Also my track saw review right there.